Okay, so what you want to do is get yourself some soapy water to help lubricate this. You're also going to then put the tube back inside the wheel as such. Get the tube in here. And then the first thing you want to do is feed the nozzle through the hole in the rim. Gosh, this wheel is so nasty. Just keeping it for spares. So you want to place it in the wheel like this, and then you can pull the nozzle through. Put the wheel on as much as you can. And then this last little bit is going to be the hardest part. Here's the trick. Take two zip ties, zip tie the tire to the wheel where it is fully seated. You can see it here, okay? So that's the key. So that you're not chasing the bead around when you put it on this side, then it falls off over there. So that's the key, that's the second thing. The other thing is that you're gonna use plenty of soapy water on this to help Move that area, that last little bit that you have to pry onto the wheel. Just get it nice and lubed up so it pops right over. Okay? All right. So that's what it looks like. Now, you're going to take two tire irons, or tire spoons. You're going to put them in the wheel. through the side like that, you can slide it around as much as possible. Then take the second one, sometimes you may need three, I think I needed three on the rear for the SX500 and I had to pull them all over. So what you want to do is shove it in there, get both of them through, okay? See, they're coming out the back side, and then you're going to pry it over the wheel. The key is to get it over the wheel. Get as far out as you can. Alright, then stand on the wheel as such. You pull it over like that. Voila! Now you see it? The tire is completely onto the rim or wheel. And I'm just going to cut these zip ties off. And then I'm going to go inflate it. Now this might be the tricky part. If you only have a bicycle pump, it may be hard to get this uh, to seat on the wheel. So you could do one of two things. For some people, they put a strap around here to force the tire onto the wheel. You can do that if you have only a bicycle pump. I have a compressor so it'll just pop the bead right on. You can go to a friend's house or go down to your local gas station and hit it with the compressor there and it will instantly seep that bead and you'll be good to go. Mount it on your bike, happy trails. And I hope this video helps other people because it took me a long time to figure this out after many wheels and I found this method to be the best and I hope you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.